If your tegula is epic and could be having surgery, you need to watch this video. My name is Dr. Rich Hilston, and you're watching my channel, The Knife Skills. Today, I have a warning for anyone who might be undergoing surgery and could be on one of these drugs, such as Ozempic or Wegovy. Now, before we get into my warning, let's talk a little bit about these drugs, what they are and how they work. I'm quite certain if you're watching this channel, you've heard of these drugs. Ozempic has been all over the media. People with type 2 diabetes are excited about the potential of once weekly Ozempic. And it's been over the media because of its weight loss properties. Healthcare has been looking for a drug that can safely help people reduce their weight. It's almost a holy grail. We've tried many things. I can remember Fenfen back in the day was an effective weight loss drug, but had significant adverse effects and had to be taken off the market. Tonight, the first Illinois class action lawsuit is filed over Fenfen. Former patients are asking the makers of the diet drugs to pay their medical expenses. Fenfluramine, one half of Fenfen, has been pulled off the market along with a similar diet drug after studies linked them to serious heart damage. But now we have a drug, Ozempic, which can actually help people maintain weight loss safely. So what exactly is Ozempic? Well, it's a brand name for a drug called semaglutide. This is a glucon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist. The use of a drug like Ozempic could help a patient with diabetes in a number of ways. It's a hormone. It can act on the pancreas to help it release more insulin. It can act on the brain to make you feel more full. But it also acts on the stomach to delay its emptying. And in that process itself, it feels more full. And the consequences of this actually help people eat less and it helps those who don't even have diabetes maintain and lose weight. And as a result, this drug's been marketed as a weight loss drug. And that's where we get the term Wagovi. It's another brand name drug for semaglutide, which is being marketed specifically as a weight loss medication. So lots of people are on these now, and it's helping many people lose and maintain their weight. But as with any medication, there are certain side effects and downsides. And one of the most important ones is its interaction with the whole process of surgery. When you have an operation, one of the biggest risks under an anesthetic is aspiration. And what this means is that under an anesthetic, it's possible for you to vomit or regurgitate your stomach contents under the anesthetic and breathe them in. So what we do as surgeons and anesthesiologists is we recommend that patients fast. And typically the recommendation is that the fasting be about eight hours prior to surgery. Now things have changed and we're allowing people to drink clear fluids. So that might be water or apple juice or maybe black coffee up to two hours before surgery. But the general rule is for solids, you should be waiting eight hours before any elective operation. Well, now that people are taking these drugs, we're noticing that that eight hour of fasting is not nearly long enough. People are showing up to the operating room with full stomachs, even if they've been fasting for 8, 12, or 24 hours. That led the American Society of Anesthesiologists to recommend a specific evaluation for patients who are taking these medications prior to surgery. Usually, Ozempic or Wagovi are given in a once-a-week injection, and so they last in the body for a long period of time. And the advice right now by the American Society of Anesthesiologists is to stop the Wagovi one full week prior to surgery. Now, you might be taking this medication for diabetes in addition to weight loss. And so it's really important that you know how to control your diabetes during that period of time when you're off medication. So it's especially important that you talk to your surgeon and your perioperative team about the medications that you're on. It's a safety issue when it comes to surgery. Now, right now, we don't have a lot of specific data. There's no randomized trials. There's no high quality evidence to tell us exactly how long you should be off these medications. But the risk is real. And our anecdotal experience is that people are at risk of aspirating if they're on these medications. So if you're taking it and you're having surgery, make sure you discuss it with your doctor and your entire perioperative team. These drugs, Ozempic, Wagovi, semaglutide, and the other medications that are in this GLP-1 class are really helpful for a lot of patients, both those who have diabetes and those who are trying to treat weight loss. And I think they're a really important tool for medicine here in 2023. So despite my warning, 
if your doctor is recommending these medications, stick with them. But if you're having surgery, make sure you've discussed it carefully with your entire team. Thank you for joining me on another video. If you enjoyed this, I'd love for you to stick around and watch this video below where I talk more about surgery and its risks. Once again, you've been watching my channel, Knife Skills, and have a great day.